Hey, this is Contract Wolf. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial video. This is a standalone video where I play as the ecologist. This is for people that are struggling to figure out what the hell to do in Sulker Yama. And I want to be a good resource for you guys. Let's dive into this. I'm playing as the ecologist just for tutorial reasons and also I do recommend if you're brand new to Stalker Anomaly and Stalker Gamma you should try out the uh, colleges first if you really are struggling um, I'm not saying it's the best start for a beginner because I still believe that the loner faction is the best start for a beginner player and it also is a good all-around start for everyone that plays soccer I mean you have uh, full access to the zone uh, some of the some of the best spots like uh, Rostock army warehouses you uh, have a base in Jupiter you can have a base in uh, Skadosk and Zaton in the north and also disclaimer uh, I've been playing the Stalker series since 2008. My first game that in the series that I played was Stalker Clear Sky. I still have all my physical copies from back then. There's Shadow Chernobyl and Call of Pripyat. Uh, the series was started in 2007 with Shadow of Chernobyl. And I started playing in 2008. Uh with Clear Sky, which is Clear Sky is the prequel to Shadow Chernobyl. So I got the uh, timeline going across instead of playing Shadow, then the prequel, then the Call of Propriet, which it actually kind of spoiled the uh, plot twist of Shadow Chernobyl, which is Strelok is an amnesiac, and he's trying to find Strelok and kill him as, a mark, as the marked one. But in Clear Sky, you play as Scar, and you're hunting Sherlock down, which Clear Sky still is my favorite game in the series for the uh, nostalgia, and that being my entry to the franchise. But I wanted to get that out of the way, just so you guys know that I'm not just a random Stalker Gamma player that's never played Stalker, which I see that a lot. Nothing wrong with it, but at least when you watch my channel, you know that this is a full-fledged Stalker channel. That's all I play on the channel, and it's my main focus, and I actually know my shit. I know my lore. Let's go over the loadout, and I'm going to be playing in hard and survivalist. Gameplay difficulty is going to determine how much bullet damage you're going to uh, take. Stamina loss, carry weight, and other stuff like water and sleep deprivation. Progression difficulty is going to uh, affect your progression. Um, it's going to make stuff more expensive. Repair and upgrade process will be more expensive. Make it really hard to um, find toolkits that you need, like in uh, green stashes. It's going to make you get less money from jobs and uh, goodwill so it really slows down your playthrough which I've always played in survivalist and hard so because that's what we do on this channel is hardcore playthroughs I also play in agony mode you cannot save scum in agony mode so yeah forget about the quick save stuff so everything you see in this video is me actually winning the fight without quick saves. It's uh, one step below playing Iron Man, in a way. What I recommend is the guard jumpsuit. Medium armor. Take more bullets. Take more damage. Take more attacks from mutants as well. Respirator. Respirator is almost more important than the uh, armor itself. 
Then you want binoculars so you can actually see what the hell's going on around you. You can actually upgrade the binoculars at the technician and with upgrade kits. So, yeah, really useful. You can actually put night vision on the binoculars. You can actually upgrade the binoculars to have increased magnification. More so than any scope. Alright, so weapon choice. This is really a preference, but what I always have preached is get a weapon that you could see yourself using half of the playthrough or most of the playthrough. I could see myself using this USP match for most of the playthrough because I'm not going to be using a pistol for very long to kill mutants with. It's going to be my backup weapon when my main guns have run dry but this gun is going to be really good in the beginning because 45 FMJ is going to be able to pin bandits armor because they they have trash gear and hydroshock 45 is going to kill mutants for us so it's a very versatile weapon just as versatile as a shotgun we're going to grab a USP. After this, I have zero points. But if you're playing a tourist, it's preference after that. I would recommend getting as much medical supplies as you can. This isn't definitive. All of this gear is going to be replaced over the playthrough. But this is just to give you a better start. So I'm going to pick Yantar as my spawn. That way I can grab the main quest as soon as possible. Alright, let's uh, jump in. I'm going to just put my name as Tutorial. Playing in hard survivalist agony mode. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so, we're in. I'm at the ecologist bunker. Go ahead and drag and drop my gear onto my character. Need to turn the game down a little bit. Loud. Alright, so, let's look at these binoculars that I was speaking of. So, as you can tell, magnification, 10, 15, 20. You can put a night vision device on it. And you can reduce the weight. You can have a fully upgraded binoculars that will help you see at night time. Really good. Alright, and detector, PDA. Earth receiver is really good too. You can change the uh, change the channel by clicking uh, left click right click and you can actually uh, get packages from this you can actually uh, detect controllers I think it's the 145 setting somebody in the comments will tell the exact settings but it, it's it's really handy Especially if you're in Iron Man mode and you uh, are trying to be really careful when you get into like some sketch areas. So, yeah. Alright. Yeah. You can save in friendly bases by pressing F5 as quick save. And you can campfire save. Like I said, this is a tutorial video, so I'm going to explain everything. So, 
you already know it, well, that's what I'm saying. This is for struggling players. All right, so another quick tip about campfires. They heal you. You can walk up to a campfire and just stand there. So, like, after a fight, if your overall body health, which is your guy right here on the left-hand corner, I'm trying to get away from that super chatty guy. If you're really banged up in a fight and you just looted a bunch of guys, you can walk up and sort your loot at the campfire as it heals you. So you can kill two birds with one stone. So this guy right here, trying to keep my distance from the really talkative guy. This guy right here, Spirit, if you give him um, seven bottles of vodka, which it's going to pop up as 20, 20 swigs or whatever. He'll give you basic toolkits. Basic toolkits, advanced and expert, is what locks you out of your progression to actually repair your armor and guns. And you can come over to the... Uh, you can come over to the technician and turn in your tools or whatever and the reason I say to do it is because once you turn in a toolkit it will repopulate his inventory for a day and it will actually give you the historic weapon repair kit it fixes like SKS's um, like Ithaca shotgun double barrels stuff like that that's what uh, it's like your old weapons um, and I'll explain more of that as, uh, as I go. We'll, we'll fix up a shotgun, because that's what our, our goal is, to get a shotgun from a bandit that we kill. But, yeah, uh, multi-tool is, uh, something I'm gonna grab right off the start. Because I can disassemble, uh, guns with a multi-tool. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how I'm highlighting my stuff. If you go to settings, um, actually it's mod configuration menu. You go to sorting plus you can configure uh, what's highlighted. Highlight favorites, all that good stuff. So yeah, pretty cool. So my plan is to get quest from Zakharov, the main quest it'll make me go to the Great Swamps but we're not going to go straight there, we're going to go into a garbage train hangar do a quest for Butcher killing mutants then use that money to get some uh, Hydra Shock from him maybe kill a bandit out here too, get a shotgun we'll go into Agriprom take the shortcut come out at the north right here um, of Great Swamps it's a shortcut to get into the dock. That way you ain't got to run all the way around. Because this is a pretty big map. Get the dock quest. Come back. He'll tell us to go to Igerprom Underground. And... We'll try to get a companion or something. Right here. Because these are free stalkers. And do Agriprom Underground. So pretty much three things I'm trying to accomplish in this video is going to be trying to get the Great Swamps quest done, Agriprom Underground, and getting basic tools. And that should be enough information to get you guys started in your own playthrough. Alright, so another thing to note is once you do Agriprom Underground, Zakharov is the guy that you pay 30,000 rubles to do the Psy Helmet. Get the calibrated Psy Helmet, wait for two days. Trust me, this will make you be able to get through Psy Fields, and you'll be able to do Brain Scorcher and Miracle Machine with this Psy Helmet. Alright, so, let's see if he's got any little side quests we can do while we're going out there. Try not to backtrack as much as you can. We'll go ahead and just grab it. Alright. 
pick your fights as much as possible. It's not even, um, not about, um, if you can kill them or not. Is the fight worth it? Um, because sometimes you'll get in this super crazy fight and there's no loot. It's not really worth it. And you ended up damaging your armor, wasting a bunch of meds, um, wasting a bunch of ammo as well. So pick your fights accordingly. The thing about Ecologist is that it kind of sucks because you don't have a lot of factions to farm gear on. I don't recommend it as like a new player start like I was saying. I was saying that the loner is the best because you're also getting the quintessential start. And you get to start in Rookie Village which is a pretty safe area unless you run into military or a boar swarm. Um, get to farm mercenaries as the loners. You can go to wild territory and farm mercs. Then you can go um, become buddy buddy with freedom, which they're a NATO faction. And um, let me explain this real quick. Free stalkers are Warsaw faction, which is your AKs, Makarovs, all that good stuff. Duty is Warsaw. Freedom is NATO, which is your five five six three zero eight. Western guns, Clear Skies NATO, Ecologist, um, they don't have a weapon trader, they just have a tech. Um, mercenaries are NATO, they have Western weapons. Military is Warsaw, bandits are Warsaw. Monolith, they can they have 50, 50 chance of dropping NATO or Warsaw, so farming Monolith is really, really good. If, uh, you don't have access to um, NATO farming factions. But to put this in perspective, you still have four factions to kill um, as an ecologist. It's not listed on here, but you already have Monolith and Bandits, you have ISG, you have Renegades, and you have yeah, bandits. Okay, so yeah, it's five. But you still have plenty of people to kill as an ecologist. But as I was saying, not recommended. Um, I don't recommend ecologists unless you're absolutely struggling in the south. That's pretty much my um, take on that. And it says pa for pacifistic players. I can still make this an extremely chaotic, um, aggressive playthrough, because, look at this, let's say I decided I wanted to go into Darkscape, Dark Valley, Truck Cemetery, then in the Army Warehouses, this whole lane on the eastern side is extremely hostile to ecologists. Every, um, you know, bandits and stuff are all through here. Now there's even an ISG safe house right here. Which ISG, they kill all witnesses. They're undercover UN agents. They're only allied to mercenaries. And by the way, there's going to be a uh, UN ISG playthrough happening after my mercenary one is concluded. Uh, you guys voted UN ISG overwhelmingly. So... That's really awesome. Alright, so we're in garbage now. And there's going to be some bandits, most likely. Usually they spawn over here. Like I said, you can use your binoculars. That is... Bandits. Let's see if we can get some shotguns off of these guys.
Always keep yourself moving. They can't hit you if you're moving. Whiffing my shots here for a minute. Where's the other guy? At? That's a. Uh, I'm. You go over here and shoot this guy before he can get to it. It's your loot now. Could have killed that guy. I didn't realize he was still on the ground. So yeah, I didn't quite get what we wanted, but I was hoping for a shotgun. So yeah, you can actually craft these uh, durable textiles into new backpacks and all that good stuff. Um, use your details. Details tell you everything. You don't know what it is, what it could be used for. Use the details. Okay. Some more action over here. As you can tell, I'm a pretty aggressive player, so I can make an ecologist play through entertaining. Dude, he's fighting more bandits. Oh. It's a shotgun. Yes. What we wanted. Oh shit. Just realized something. So uh Hip actually needs a Taz one uh one ninety four. A rookie village. I'll just go give that to her. Actually, really good. They won't actually let you loot um, if you hadn't killed it. See that? Just leave that loot alone. It is pretty chill, though. I mean, you don't have to worry about getting shot at by everybody you see when you play as an ecologist, but. You know, that's why it's uh, pretty good to play as an ecologist if you're struggling really bad. Um, or if you just want to explore the zone in a bunch of areas that you wouldn't be normally able to. Honestly, if you got good gear and can one shot people, then you can go any fucking where you please. Alright, so this is Butcher. He's gonna buy he's gonna buy mutant parts at the best prices. He's going to give you shotgun ammo for the best prices. If you quit if you equip a hunter's kit can actually uh, get more mutant parts off of them which we're not gonna do in this uh, tutorial video just because I would rather just craft a backpack a bigger backpack but you can put this in your uh, inventory and do it that way that way you can keep the bigger backpacks that you craft um, you have to get a hunting off for certain uh, animals to skin them as you can tell it says cut thick skin no so like your chimeras and stuff like that can disassemble this for these parts and it'll actually uh, you can actually upgrade your PDA alright 
this is really cool uh anomaly maps to where uh you can hunt artifacts trying to be as thorough as possible um just off the top of my head i don't have a script for this this is all improvised yeah you can uh disassemble weapons with a multi-tool you can also disassemble ammo that you don't want but why do you do that so once you get gunsmith and tools you can craft any ammo that you have so let's say you are a warsaw faction and you want to run nato weapons well you can just disassemble ammo that you don't want and turn it into 556 308 all that good stuff so we're gonna disassemble this stuff because we don't need it we want to use different ammo I don't have gunsmithing tools right now, so I can't um, do that. But you'll find gunsmithing tools in green stashes as well. As you can tell, campfire has healed me up. Oh my lord. <laughs> hey, he just killed himself. a great thing about oh shit I think I just got some good gear out of it hey look this is a good thing about being an ecologist though you could just kind of third party fights and just wait for one of the others to die it's like super easy looting honestly this is a 9 by 39 this is like a VSS top ammo go ahead and just assemble this as well we got our first artifact, spike. The perk artifacts are really cool. There's no negative downside with these, um, except for you know, like something like a something like a um, like using scar. Oh, Ozen. Hey. Our first scope rifle, potentially. This has a 100% barrel. This is huge, guys. Like I said, wait a minute. Does it have a scope on it already? Yes, it does. Holy shit, guys. We're in fucking business now. That, that was luck. That was luck. See what else? Who else they can kill for us? They're so good over there. He's gonna kill himself. Oh no, he didn't kill himself. See, is he actually gonna? No. <laughs> These two guys just walk up in this shit and it's just like, I don't care. I'm just fucking blow everybody up. I've already got a Mosin and a shotgun, a scope rifle and a shotgun. So if I run into anybody else that has um, ammo for this, yeah, we're in business. Let's see what this does. Each stack of, okay, passive 10% critical hit damage bonus. See a downside of that, so go ahead and put it on our belt. I can go over the uh, attributes at the bottom. You know, we have no psi resistance right now. But you can always hover over this stuff to figure out what it is. Also, you can hold control and It'll actually highlight like to 100% what it what it does like like that. So, yeah, you can hold control and do that, which is not as useful on that other shit, but useful on like a piece of armor usually. We're about to do our mutant quest, but I need to get some 
Roger Shock from Butcher. Go ahead and sell this stuff because I needed uh, money. We'll keep the rim rod. All right, let's get our uh, Roger Shock. This area is a little bit um, known for having radiation, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pre-med up for the radiation patch. Hopefully there's nothing crazy over here, like a, a sucker. Switch to my knife just in case. Put it in my binocular spot. The blood sucker. I just shocks pretty good. You can chase after bloodsuckers with a knife and just stab them, and they'll just keep running away. That's the easy way to kill uh, bloodsuckers. Especially if you end up buying an axe. <laughs> just chase after them, just slash them with an axe. This glow stick's going to be good for us um, once it starts to get dark, which is a really cool thing you can do with a glow stick. You can actually actually throw it you hold the grenade launcher key and they'll throw it if you get a gun like this you don't have a flashlight you can walk around shoot whatever in the vicinity which you'll see me do once we get in the great swamps if it gets dark on us all right but I think we might be able to beat the the night you know, try to be as most um, efficient as you can. Don't backtrack. Pick your fights, and you end up making more money. You ain't got to worry about constantly repairing, constantly healing yourself up. I don't even have an AI-2 on me. I just got bandages. AI-2s are great. I just don't have the money to spend on a bunch of kits just yet. When I can just, you know kill who I need to kill. If I get damaged up a little bit, I can just go to the campfire. But we will probably just uh, swing by the military base, since we're allied to military, and uh, buy up some kits. Niagara prom will use the environment to my advantage. See if I can find these dogs again. You ever get that weird blur? You just need to aim and it'll get rid of it. Let me get this poultry gas. Got him. 
save. Wait a minute. Is that in the fucking anomaly? Yes, it is. No. Nope. How is it? Oh, there it is. Just jump out of the anomaly. It'll be okay. Alright, we got that quest done. Alright, let's go to the Great Swamps. Let's take a, a little pit stop at the uh, military. Those anomalies are pretty easy to get out of. What I what I do hate is the uh, electro anomalies. Yeah, you gotta take what the game gives you. I got pretty lucky getting this Mosin and uh, shotgun in the beginning. Use your uh, use your wits. You guys remember um, if you've watched me before my monolith playthrough, I used my wits to get past certain areas. I was fighting a full squad of mercenaries in wild territory as monolith and Psystorm came in and they all ran to get inside. Well, Monolith's immune to Psystorm and emissions, so I just used it to my advantage. They ran inside that little trailer thing and I threw a grenade in there and killed them all. So, yeah. Let's buy some AI2s. Only afford one, so that's what we'll do. Let's see if I can get some damage resistance. This is good. Alright. So yeah, this is what I was saying. I recommend the uh, ecologist faction to people that are struggling really bad. Your friends with military and everybody, except for bandits and the... Uh, Cut content factions like ISG and Sin and Renegades were in the game because Renegades were in Clear Sky. Um, Alright. Let's go to the Great Swamps. That's not a poltergeist, it's just a rolling electro anomaly. It doesn't uh, do anything to you unless you run into it. I felt like doing this though. I, I just really want to help everybody out, and that way uh, we have have some fun with this awesome mod pack. Get a lot of questions. Figured I'd cover all of it here. All right, so we're in Great Swamps and figured out what that beeping was. It was the spike. Um, giving me critical damage bonus. Um, really cool because uh, that's how I was able to take out that bloodsucker so damn fast. Use artifacts, people. Give you an advantage. Alright, so I do see a fire. The renegades are over here. I'm just gonna avoid them because they're probably gonna kill me. get around this. Oh, fuck. Never mind. I guess I'm going to have to fight them. You fucking barely see. Oh, 
One down. Can't see through these fucking bushes, dude. Ow. Alright, I'm fucking off with this. Ow. Damn it. Damage resist resistance. Get rid of this damn thing. Give me side health damage. I even loot this guy. There we go. All right. That was a little chaotic. Pulled it off though. Got another scope rifle. I don't know. Get rid of this because I don't. Hey, that was parts for that. No good parts, though. But I can actually switch out the bolt. being broken well anyways let's uh save this camp for I killed uh another guy like instantly yeah the beeping made me sound like RT R2D2 or some shit You know, at first I thought it was this. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? So you hold control and it will show you the full stats of that. I'm not a big fan of that shotgun. See, that was the reason I was able to kill that guy was because he was sitting there loading it. But... Had an SVD, so actually got ammo. What am I mosing now? That was awesome. We're running in the water. I know it's giving me radiation, but it's the fastest way to get to the dock. Damn legs are fucked up now. It's always fun. There is a renegade camp over here, but should be able to avoid them. Sure, we don't walk into nothing. Smooth sailing. And the docks in this tunnel.
Up dock. Up all this stuff. Alright, so he's gonna give me um, the quest to go to Agriprom Underground. I'll sit here and let this heal me up. My time is 1300, so it's still day mm. daylight, enough daylight. I don't have any ibuprofen on me, so I'm just gonna have to bandage my legs again. Nothing worse than having your legs messed up in great swamps. The worst. Got one bullet. Switch to Hydra Shock in case anything wants to run up on me. I don't recommend running like this, like I do, but I've been playing this game for a long time. <laughs> Okay, couldn't put it on my... Great. Give me a pseudo doll for... Nope. Get going. Let's drop a save at this campfire again. I do recommend playing in agony mode. Oh. Combat. I do recommend playing in agony mode. It's, it's a challenge without it being Iron Man. I've already done an Invictus playthrough before um, on Gamma and Anomaly. Uh, but this was long before I even did channel. It'll put some hair on your chest, that's for damn sure. Alright, let's go back to Agriprom and we'll uh, get patched up at the medic at the military base. Alright, back in Agriprom.
Yeah, stamina. Stamina stuff sucks in the beginning, but if you press K, you actually bring up character skills. You level up. Level up your endurance over time. Now I'm right near the medic, but I need to get in here faster. Оружие за спину. Ну, я слушаю. Gonna come up with some money. Um, sell this artifact. You can sell perk artifacts, but you can't sell the other type of artifacts that you can, you know, get. They are uh, zero percent usually. Sell that. Sell this. Yeah, we got enough. Cool. Get some more uh, pistol ammo. Shoot that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Off. Let's uh, heal up at the medic. Volna, Rosadi. Medics over here. She would. Ah, damn it. We can go to the tech and. <sighs> yeah. Go up to the med. We'll go up to the tech and. Get up enough money. Totally Whoa. slipped my brain that I blew my money on ammo. Yeah. Looking around for loose loot. something in here explore as much as you can guys you know I, I definitely want to do a military playthrough that would be fun better than playing as duty that's for sure so, since this is just a tutorial video, I wouldn't normally just sell everything, but i um, not going to be continuing this anyway, so just give some money up. Need to get my legs fixed. Uh, yeah. You can use uh, these sprays or whatever 
you can actually repair your guns and stuff on the fly. Ramrod is just uh, something you use on a barrel. Okay, so our next target, every problem underground, is right here. But we're going to take a detour and go ahead and turn our quest in so we get some money. So let's go do that. Going back in the Antar. Turn these quests in. Приветствую на нашей научной базе. Oh, damn, crazy ass bots. Grab a flashlight. This agroprom underground's pretty dark. Zakharov does sell night vision. Also has the artifact melter. Which the artifact melter you can fuse artifacts. So there's junk artifacts that you get, you can fuse them into better ones. Заходите еще. Headlamp's really good because you use, you know, two-handed weapons. All right, so we're gonna take a uh, trip to Corden. That way, I can turn in this uh, Tazen 194. All right, so we're in Rookie Village at Corden, and I've got the Taz 194, and I got to give her 20 buckshot shells so I can get my basic tools. Так, что интересует? Just gonna buy this buckshot from him real fast so I can do it. I could just go to Butcher, but for the sake of this, uh, for the sake of speed, we're just going to go ahead and do this. It would be, would be smarter just to go to Butcher and get your shotgun shells. Like, the, like I said, this is a standalone video, just to help players so I'm not continuing this playthrough this is just a standalone video all right we got our 20 shells turn it into hip Слушаю тебя. don't ever say get the fuck out of my face the hip she'll start she'll punch you in the face <laughs> start shooting at you um, Привет, брат. yeah all right, so drop my quick save. All right, yeah, there is a trick you can do if you are a loner. Uh, don't do Fanatics tutorial first. Just wait. And then when you got a bunch of guns that you want ammo for, just come up to him, do the quest. He'll give you a bunch of ammo for the guns. So if you end up having a deer hunter or some other high tier weapon that you can't get ammo for easily, there you go. Um, but yeah, just like that, day one basic tools. So let's grab um, some quests. Them. No. Probably didn't give me tour safari.
think you gotta be a loner to do tour safari, but who knows. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Eventually, um, in the bar in Rostock, you end up having a quest to kill top 10 stalkers in the zone, which I did that in my loner playthrough, first playthrough on my channel. Killed all 10 of them. Pretty fun. In my playthrough, Freedom was number one, and I had to backstab kill a Freedom member in uh, Yanov Station in Jupiter. Shot him with a deer rifle. <laughs> the deer hunter, I mean. The 338 Lapua. That shit one shots people. So, let's try to find a uh, shotgun from one of these bandits that we kill. If we can't get something off of them. Let's just do a little bit of quests and cordon and then go to Agapro Underground. Try to beat the uh. No, not, привет. Not Tom. cars that way you don't get killed use anomalies too like you saw me do in agriprom oh yeah he just fucked off not chasing me and use the anomalies like I was saying got some rifle bullets Try to kill some bandits. It's like one of the first quests in the entire series. This hill. Save. Yep. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can nail one of these guys with the one shot. There's bandits inside of there. Might not be that many. Usually shoot that red barrel and blow their ass up. Let's wait for them. I'll be able to just got him. That was cool. Rosie didn't have friends. A shotgun. There we go. Problem solved. We have a shotgun still. Not that good though. It's all janky and broke, but it'll work. So he didn't have any friends. Going back to get my money. Up on top of the car, that way the boars don't get me and the fleshes. Getting my stamina up. This shotgun's iconic.
could go down to the military base and uh, get a quest from them if I really wanted to. The advantage of being an ecologist. Selling or buying anything from him. <clears throat> He's a ripoff. Damn sure. Let's kill this mutant. Drop another save and then I'll go run over there. These abandoned houses actually have a lot of good stuff. Always check these abandoned houses. I've thought about doing a uh, another loner series um, in the future, but just starting out with a knife, nothing else, just to show you exactly how to really build up from nothing. Got a bunch of ideas. Слушаю тебя. Не балуй. Оружие спрячь. But I don't want to get too uh, tangled up in a bunch of playthroughs. I usually only do two playthroughs at once. Um, I'm doing a mercenary playthrough for Stalker Yama, and I'm doing a winter bandit playthrough Stalker Anomaly uh, using Project Inverno mod. Okay. I already loot this house. Meadow's got a lot of loose loot spawns too. Alright, we've done a lot just for it being 1600 and day one. Привет, брат. So, if you don't believe me, I'll show you. Time elapsed, nine hours. So, yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Ну, что расскажешь? Kill this mutant. Anomaly. The thing is, I can get close to the military base, like, I ain't gotta worry about them lighting me up. You're a state sponsored scientist, you're actually a stalker sponsored by the government. This is why um, an ecologist disguise is like really, really good. Very good. But yeah, it's not even like if you want to be a pacifistic player, if you just want to explore the zone and not get shot at all the damn time. And that's definitely for you if you want to do more like mutant artifact hunting, which is fun. Oh man, I'm running out of stamina at the wrong time. <laughs> Fucking. Come on, man. Almost died right there. Stamina. Damn. Almost got killed right there. Just let them 
kill him. Fuck it. Maybe I'll kill him. Oh. Alright. That quest is done. We might have some quests we can do too. Actually. Yeah, for the, for the sake of this uh, video, um, I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by just turning in your basic tools. I wouldn't normally give them to this guy, I'd give them to like a raw stock tech or army warehouses tech. That's what I would do. Um, army warehouses and raw stock are your best bet for a base in the beginning. But pretty much what you do, you just turn them in and then you wait a day uh, for them to repopulate all the uh, stuff as a bolt. Like I said, drag and drop. Drag and drop uh, parts. Not gonna. Um, Let's see here. What you can do too is you can get this, boost the condition all the way up. That way it doesn't, the parts don't break as much. Because you're running it dry. That's what that is. It's a lubrication condition. That's what they, if they could tweak that to make it say that, that would be really cool. But that's pretty much the logic behind it. So the condition is actually the lubrication of it. Not lubricated, components start to break. Yada yada. Yeah, we got a hundred percent condition. Mosin, we just gotta fix the bolt carrier and the ejector. Good. Yep. All right, let's uh, head on back up to Agriprom. I'm in Agriprom base. Is that off? Research Institute. Just gonna pay this medic real quick to. Get all my limbs a lot cheaper than me doing it myself. And get some more hills. Socket resistance is going to be good. Wind up taking that once we get down there. Just gonna sell this for just the speediness of the video. Need to get some money up. I normally just uh, 
sit on this ammo. Like I said, this video is going to say how to play Stalker Gamma. This is just the basic necessities. Um, you want to know specific things like how to use a drug making kit, gunsmithing tools, stuff like that. Just watch my videos. Um, you guys will see me do it. And I don't edit that stuff out. Especially in my... Um, new videos like mercenary videos I do everything I show everything so if you don't know the specifics just watch my other videos I'm very transparent of how I do things okay So, let's do this Agriprom Underground. I do not recommend taking this entrance right here. Because you'll run straight into a controller right there. Controllers will uh, fuck you up. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. Whoa. Another entrance. Here's another entrance. It's, um, you can actually dodge the bandit ambush doing this too. You'll be at the stairwell. I'll be able to get a, uh, be able to get a painting right here. Здорово, дружи! I just go around saying, hey, you guys want to go under the creepy haunted underground with me? And they're just like sitting there going, hell no, you're fucking crazy. Здорово! Чего тебе, сталкер? Слушаю тебя! Radiation is insane. As you can tell, that quest and cordon's doing it all by itself now. Привет, брат. What's he doing? Here we go. had a companion. One thing is I need buckshot. I'm gonna go into Agaprom underground. No joke. I'm not going in there until I get a companion and some more buckshot. There's uh mutants in there will fuck you up. Alright, so we're back in garbage. Um it's 1900 on our time. I think we've got some people over here. I'll be a bandit. No. Let's see what other quests he has. Got another one. And sell this. Sell your mutant parts to them. Bandits.
I'm gonna go up here. Got him. Oh, there's more? Shit. So hard to see. Oh. my stuff okay I might be able to kill this guy before they do got him ha <laughs> ha stole his kill guess what that means I get to take it anytime anytime you see him uh, walking anytime you see him walking slow and pull out a pistol Means they're about. Damn, it just got dark as shit. Anytime you see him walking real slow with a pistol, um, means they're about to finish the guy off. If you can run in and shoot the guy on the ground, then you'll be able to get the loot. Actually, I think I just grabbed one of my favorite shotguns in the entire game Remington 870. I'm at the flea market now. I was to see mercenaries over here. That means he had to have killed all the duty guys. Whoa, radiation. Any loose loot? Kind of a shit stash. Looking at the, uh, Parts that I got. No way that's a loner. Mercs at flea market? What the hell? Killed all of them. I'm gonna go to uh, Raw Stock and show y'all something. some tips tips and tricks with raw stock since I'm so close to it all right we're in raw stock and judging from how many dogs are barking in the distance that's like an ungodly amount so what you can do too is you can actually just wait for the uh, guards to kill all of them and some of the dogs will actually kill the guards don't really get a good view of this. Alright. I know this looks spooky, but Rossock is a really good place to be at. It's a safe spot. Once you go past that uh, guard checkpoint, it's a secure location. 
most secure area in the zone, in my opinion. So, all right, here's a little tip of getting around quicker. You can jump to this window. There you go. What Petrinko's got. Да ты рассказываешь, чем пришел. But yeah, I usually like to put my base like right here when I decide I want to base up at um, Rostock. But if I don't want to base up here, I usually base up in uh, army warehouses. All territory. We're spilling up money for the... Uh, Agriprom underground push. A bunch of stuff that we can't do. Подходи, сталкер. Для таких, как ты, у меня всегда есть кое-что интересное. See what he has. Also has wild territory. Yeah, kill bandit and garbage. I'm just trying to be, um, you know, prepared for agroprom underground. <coughs> so we're still doing really damn good. We we'll have. Basic tools, uh, Great Swamp's done in day one, and then we'll have Agriprom Underground done in day two. But you can definitely rush it and do day one. I just, uh, just showing you guys um, that you can take your time. No, no. Нет, от судьбы точно никуда не скроешься. Что на роду написано, так оно и будет. Actually, being able to do this much in day one is uh, pretty fast. A lot of people just like to take their time. A lot of people don't find their basic tools till like day three or four. If you're taking your time in survivalist progression. So, enough of this uh, darkness shit. Let's uh, go to sleep. You can actually jump past this guy. Like too. Bad, I jump past him. Put your base back here. It's actually pretty cool. A little bonus room back here. This is the guy that gives you the uh, top 10 stalkers in the zone to kill. This is your uh, god. Oh shit. Got a fucking green stash. And uh, wild territory. That's awesome. That's what you want to look for guys. Let's go to wild territory. Wild Territory is a really good place to farm mercs as a loner, but we don't have to fight mercs because we're allied to them as the ecologist. So should be able to just get this green stash and kill these bandits and get out. Pretty simple. I'm just going to show you all something. If you peek out right here, the bridge... You're a loner. You can snipe. Uh, you can snipe a bridge in between this truck uh, when the marks are there. There's a bandit on the bridge, and we'll have a fight on our hands. This is the bridge I'm talking about.
Okay, water. Oh, nice. Damn it. I was hoping I could ask him. Being rejected by everybody, guys. You're a pseudo giant. I hear a, uh, Here is uh, Poltergeist. Where's he at? Is that a controller? High tier mutants can spawn. We've been seeing a chimera and a pseudo giant over here before. It's a dangerous area if you don't respect it. Oh, that's not hard to get. Here's uh, our duty. Oh, wait, yeah. All right, let's get this green stash. On top of this. Gotcha. Oh, gunsmith tools. Hell yeah. Let me see here. Get the fuck out of here. If I get back in Rostock, I'll teach y'all how to do gunsmith tools. Alright, so... This is how you use gunsmith tools. Let's say I want to assemble this and make it 556. Five, I'd open up my gunsmith tools, then I'd go to ammo, then I would go to 556. Five, I need one more shell to make 15 rounds of 5.56. Five, so, yeah, just like that. You can actually disassemble your 5.45 five, if you're a Warsaw faction and turn it into 5.56 five, this way. Um, really, really handy. Let's say you're playing as a loner and... You really like the duty quests better. You don't really like the freedom quests. But you still want to run like M4s and stuff. So you farm mercenaries. And craft your ammo. Yeah. It's a very viable strategy. So I just want to point this out guys. Because even though this says handgun repair kit. It repairs all 9mm and 45 caliber weapons so it can be in an SMG and it will repair it so keep that in mind alright so I'm gonna go back down to cordon turn in this bandit patches I'm gonna take out one of these spring cleaning targets and neutralize target for Petrinko Alright, turn in these patches now. Alright, let me show you guys what I meant by the uh, basic tools uh, repopulating. Since we uh, turned it into this technician at 
Military checkpoint. I would never turn my basic tools in in a regular playthrough. Um, in at, at the checkpoint, I would turn them in at Rostock or Army warehouses. But like I said, for the purposes of video, I turned them in right here. I didn't repopulate yet, but I guess with enough, well, with enough time, it will repopulate um, the historic weapon repair kits. But it does say supply level two. Just be like a full 24 hour type thing. Let's get our armor fixed up. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. It is banged up pretty bad. So, I'm gonna get. Hmm. That's much cheaper. Yeah, you don't want to do that. We'll get this. And then use the emergency armor repair set. Okay. We're going to use this. No, я слушаю. That's good enough. We'll see if we can craft a backpack. What the hell? So you can use vices for free in Soccer Yama. Alright. See if I can't. I have to get the crafting recipe for the backpack. There. Get survival guide one. Electronic handbooks one. We won't worry about that one. So you go ahead and just read it. What is going on with that? It's an anomaly for sure. That's what we call glitches. Alright, so in order to craft this camping backpack, I need four more durable textiles, more cloth sheets, basic threads, and then bam. Pretty simple. You can actually craft your uh, binoculars like this too. And devices. And craft your bear detector this way too. Box resistors, transistors, capacitors. And to get these, you just, you know, disassemble walkie talkies, all that shit. Radios, yada yada. Craft your MVGs this way as well. Same thing, all the little electric, electronic devices. You can actually craft your advanced tools this way too. Five basic tools, five metallic scrap. Bam, advanced tools. But you want to hope that you just find it. And then when uh, you get your drug making kit, Craft all your AI twos this way. So yeah, good stuff. Okay, this is your first uh, a mission y'all are seeing. If you're a new player, of course.
Pretty simple guys, just run inside a building. Alright, let's kill this guy. Fucked up. <laughs> Trying to blow that barrel up. I actually fucking survived that. Holy shit. Almost died, guys. Oh, man. That was a pretty wild fight. Ain't gonna lie. Damn, shotgun was jamming on me. That's a better gun. Pump action malfunctioning on the range is actually really fucking annoying. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you're not supposed to do that. Like a revolver malfunction. That's annoying as shit too. But like I was saying, you can use a handgun repair kit to fix uh, SMGs. I just do that. If I end up having enough money. But, like I said, this is a standalone video, so I won't go too in depth on trying to min max my character in this video. So we're gonna kill more bandits. Seems like they're at the campfire. These are freedom. Cool. I'll show you guys the Bandit Farmstead. Um, you play the original games. This is where Father Valerian was at. Clear sky. Make sure I'm not walking into a burner. Alright, I'm in the Bandit Farmstead. Which is like the second loner base. 
basically in cordon. Let me show you guys the field cooking kit. I had talked about it, but I'd rather uh, actually show you. So, you can go up to any campfire with this and. No, привет. Use it like this. You can stew it with water and meat. Bam. Save you some money. Gives you a little bit of radiation if it's uh, stewed. You have to purify it to not have any radiation poison. I had the vodka for it, but it just wasn't the right uh, food, I guess. Dairy can's good for the uh, little fuel stove. Multi-fuel stove. This is really good for bases. Um, you can set it up at a base. Run it on the go if you really want to. Um, the reason it says it's better for bases, it might not weigh that much, but the jerry cans are uh, very heavy. You know, when I played Stalker Gamma for the first time, like when it first came out, it was really unbalanced. And I remember just like a fucking pseudo giant spawning right here at the checkpoint, like right at the beginning. And I was just like, what the fuck? Hilarious. All right, let's go fight these uh, bandits. Since this has been jamming on me, I'm just gonna, um, Run two shotguns. That's so satisfying. Alright, let's go. As soon as I'm fired these two, then I'll switch to my other shotgun. That's a, that's freedom. He did. Okay, I'll sit here. Probably like, what the fuck? Why is he killing all these guys? shoot him in the damn arm. God, I love this damn thing. Come on, pick out. Oh, that's a fucking freedom guy. This is getting really, uh, confusing. He's gonna have to push me because I might accidentally kill Freedom Go. What? Let's see if anybody wants to team up with us. Oh, here we go. This doesn't need to be in the garbage. Okay, so we got a nope. companion for uh, Agriprom Underground. We're about to do Agriprom Underground. I've got my companion from Rookie Village. I'm gonna run two shotguns for this. Alright, I'm gonna pop this like morphine. Oh, 
Whoa. What the hell? What the fuck? I've never seen this before. It's killing everybody. There's no way I can loot that. Oh shit. dead. Okay, I'm gonna back off. I'm actually gonna go uh, through the other entrance because of that anomaly. I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen that. That That was weird. That was definitely weird. Usually the entrance is just, they're waiting for you in an ambush. They're not actually like, all killed by a damn anomaly. Fucking weird as fuck. No, привет. So I'll just campfire save and then go through the other entrance. As well as talking about the other entrance. Did get us close. I'm wa walking because of the poltergeist. Did get us closer to the quest. That's good. Uh oh. Here he is, right here. It's a burr, too. Fuck. Okay, guys, this is not a normal Agriprom Underground at all. All right, I'm going to have to come back. Fortunately, guys, between these broken-ass guns, just no way you can kill a burr and a poltergeist at the same time. That was not normal. <laughs> that was straight-up curveball. Usually you go down and there's bandits waiting for you to ambush. Then you kill a bloodsucker. Then you might kill a burr and a poltergeist. And that's about it. Um, that was uh, 
a goddamn shit show for sure. So, uh, I might have to do a little bit of grinding. Get us on track here. To, uh, finish off the last thing I need. Unless I can get me a, a badass companion. Let's just go back to Rostock, turn our quests in. That's what I was, back in Rostock, and, uh, it's like I was just saying is that, uh, you gotta pick your fights. Sometimes you'll go to an area like I did, Agriprom Underground, and realize you're not prepared for that fight. If I had a grenade, or a grenade launcher or something, that would have ended that, like, right then and there. But I don't have that. I'm playing this shit in real time, I'm not doing it this, uh lean laboratory environment where I use debug menu. No. I'm showing you the real stalker experience, people. Sometimes you just gotta count your losses and, and come back stronger. Hell, one time I was at the brain scorcher. Killed the outer defenses. Went inside. Realized I was not ready for the inside. Because the fight was just it was even worse on the inside. So, sometimes you just gotta do that shit. Sometimes you're just not prepared. That's really what happens. For us to be day two, doing what we're doing, pretty damn good. Alright, so I'm gonna buy some uh, Mosin ammo. I'm gonna go to army warehouses, see if I can't kill some monolith. Do got 17,000 rubles, so I am building up an income. We just This is the drawback, dude, already, that you guys are seeing with playing as an ecologist. I'm not able to kill any high-tier factions. Um, this is why I need to go to army warehouses and kill... Another thing, guys, you can actually kill these uh, birds and uh, get armor, armor piercing cartridges. If I can actually fucking hit one. There we go. Need enough. There we go. Alright, so there you go. Like that. So keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, I was saying it's really hard to get gear as an ecologist. Probably gonna be bandits on that hill to my right. So, and the bandits are pretty tough in army warehouses. Actually, they're pretty geared. Um, once seen ones with exoskeletons and stuff over here. Yeah, they're not really, not really a joke like they are in the south. I'd almost consider army warehouses to be the like the threshold of the uh, south. Let's get to the freedom base. Might have a monolith kill quest for us. Must be fighting monolith. Gotta get behind some cover. Yeah, 
No, that's dude. Haha! <laughs> The best thing I can hope for is... This is a fucking clusterfuck right here. So I'm not in combat with any of these guys. Maybe I can get something off this freedom, dude. Yeah. What I'm talking about you're just kind of like a scavenger. Just waiting for other people to. See if these guys kill. These guys kill the duty guy, then I can actually loot the freedom bodies. So let's hope they actually kill him. This is kind of scummy, but. I might just put this duty guy out myself. Come on, get him. Get him. God damn it, kill him. There we go. Okay, so I can actually loot these freedom guys. Wait. Being a spectator, Jesus Christ. So yeah, you could see how this could be handy in some ways if you're a struggling player. Not to worry about getting shot by everybody, but it comes at a cost of not being able to get high tier gear. I do recommend hanging out in army warehouses. This is where you have a high chance of getting pretty good gear. Freedom is definitely a faction I want to play in the future on the channel. I'm going to end up covering all of them, honestly. Fucking 
I fucking killed. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, that was like some Matrix shit. I got a heal. Can't believe I killed that Exo guy. Kept moving, man. I kept moving too. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Looks like I have a grenade though. Can't go into agriprom now. Just blow that damn burr up. I'm just gonna continue to hang out in army warehouses. See what's going on over here. Yeah, army warehouses is a fucking war zone. Cause you have the barrier over here. This is where Monolith is. They're the big bads of the game series. Over here. Oh, Monolith. Oh uh, no, freedom. Radiation, holy shit. I gotta drink this. I'm fucking die. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Army warehouses radiation is brutal. Fucking brutal. Well, look at that. Yeah, check this out. Made a weapon for you. I gotta um I gotta get back. I get killed over here. <laughs> Fucking radiation. Completely incapacitate you. Holy shit. Turn you into an alcoholic. Yeah, there's a tutorial on radiation. <laughs> Just keep fucking spamming cigarettes and alcohol until you get it down. So this is the prime farming spot before you can get to the north. It's where you want to farm up your uh, gear if you can't kill mercenaries. This is where the scope rifle comes in handy. We oh, killed him. Shooting at me. Oh, that's an expert. Stalker. We will get Agriprom Underground done. We will. Absolutely. I'm not going to let you guys down, I promise. We had a detour for a minute.
I ended up showing you guys other things though, so that's that's a good thing. I ended up showing you army warehouses, which is really, really important. Who else is he killing? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and med up. Cause this radiation's fucking terrible right here. You guys will see in a minute. Damn, this is almost about to be a, a day three. It's already been uh, day one and it's day two right now. So I need to... When I mean in-game, it's only... I've only been playing for about six hours. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Which, you can actually get this all this shit done faster. I'm not the best stalker gamma player. I'm not. I'd say I'm pretty efficient, but... I'm not the best. Oh. Did that expert stalker get killed? I must have killed that expert stalker. Figure it out. His body's around here somewhere, probably. Pseudo dogs will fucking. will fucking wreck you. They really will. figure out the bodies here expert that's what I was talking about killed him okay radiation time this is the barrier this is where freedom holds monolith back you need a little bit of lore so this is the infamous Red Forest entrance right here. Um, the place is uh, very dangerous. This is radar. Oh. I was about to say, dude. I thought that was fucking monolith. It's like, holy shit. But, yeah. You go through any of these entrances without a psi helmet and you would die immediately from the psi field. Yeah, keep that in mind. But, like I was saying, this area is prime time farming area. It's a fucking war zone. So, farm up as much as you can. Like I said, take your time. You don't have to rush this. You don't have to rush this at all. Take your time. Well, I've got two grenades. I might be able to pull off. They were probably underground. I just tossed the SKS because, I mean, this is a standalone video. I'm not going to keep playing this playthrough. If I can get any of these guys to follow me. No, привет. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a son of a bitch to edit, but I put a lot of time and effort into this, guys, and I really hope you like this video. Um, definitely subscribe, uh, to watch any of my actual playthroughs. Um, this isn't the ending of the video, but I was just saying, it's going to take me a hot minute to edit this video all this gameplay down alright guys so we're gonna go to agriprom underground 
Um, just looking at statistics. So yeah, only one day has passed. All right, so this time I've got grenades. I got psi resistance medicine. All right, this is round two. Popping morphine as well. All right, there's a poltergeist and a burr. Last time we were here, I'm just gonna walk. We get close to the burr. Then we're gonna throw a nade at him. We'll go ahead and pop a AI2 just to heal me. And this 30 seconds. Me over. Me over, fuck. Poltergeist. Did you hit me again? Ow! Where's he at? Where's he at? Can't see me. Stop throwing stuff. Right. Pop a stem pack real quick. There he is. Get you, bitch. Gotcha. Alright, let's get Strelok's notebook. I'll be a bloodsucker right here. Alright, guys, that was it. This is how you do the beginning. Let's grab up all this stuff. All I gotta do now, guys, is I gotta just turn in the stuff at uh, the barkeep. Let's turn that in. Go to Zakharov, do the Psy helmet. Pay 30,000 rubles, wait for two days. That's pretty much the uh, extent of it. Um, not done just yet, so I'll show you how I get back out. Usually I go the other way, through the bandits, through the bloodsucker. But, because that anomaly was there. Last time, I had to improvise. The grenades helped us out big time. Usually a blood sucker comes running around the corner right here. He is. Guess he's not this time. All right, just gonna do this. All right, let's go out back the same way. No reason to go out the other way. Gotta jump over these chemical anomalies. Or just threw them, fuck it. Yeah. There we go. 
There we go. Nope, don't want to go that way. Alright, so that was Agriprom Underground. I'll go turn it in to show you what I mean by just paying Zakharov. So hopefully, guys, this helps you out a lot, gives you some guidance. Um, I was just covering everything I could off the top of my head. All right, we're back at 100 Rad's Bar. I paid a guide to get me here. Um, that way I didn't have to run across the zone. Подходи, сталкер. Для таких, как ты, у меня Чего расскажешь хорошего? Как оно? All right. Turn it into barkeep. So, the call of the north. All right. So, talk to him about the brain scorcher, and then he says, "Professor, I need a side protection helmet. Thirty thousand rubles um, to take two days. Get the calibrated side helmet. It's better than doing the." Uh, prototype one because it says incomplete hardware so wait for 30,000 all right guys that's my how to how to start playing stalker gamma ecologist edition basically all right guys please subscribe like the video comment help other new guys out uh, I'll see you guys in my other playthroughs, Mercenary playthrough, and the Winter Bandit playthrough. Thanks, guys. See ya.